Greetings everyone, and welcome to tutorial 1.2 of the Dragon Guardian Avatar. I am Spider Carnot, creator, owner, CEO, mastermind of Spider Productions, and I am very excited to present to you today the brand new update, 1.2. Now, a lot of changes have been made, but only for the better. It's basically how I wanted the Dragon Guardian to be in the first place. I put a lot of work, a lot of hard, a lot of hard work, um, months of work into this update, and that's why I created this video. I figured it would make it a lot easier to explain and help out um, those people who don't exactly like to read. I, I got a lot of great feedback from my past videos, and I'm very excited to do this one. Now there are all kinds of brand new exciting things as well as various features that have been done with this update. One in particular was the grayscale tinting. Now getting right into it, basically what the grayscale tinting is, is I have allowed the possibility since you can buy different versions of the dragon. Right now we have the sky which is one of my personal favorites, I just love this uh, color. Um, and uh, what you can do is just by clicking the skin and sliding the bar you can tint at will. Now this means any color that you have will work like this. You can go all the way dark and you know <laughs> look all newbie but I wouldn't suggest it. <laughs> you know it's nice to just give a little bit you know. See I can go straight from a light blue to a slightly darker and this works with all the different colors and this is a feature that will probably carry on to all the uh, the later updates. Next off, another brand new feature that I'd love to show off right now is the color change horns and claws. Now, I know a lot of people wanted this and I just decided to add it as a bonus. Um, I'm very excited about it personally because it gives all these amazing possibilities of um, you know, really, no matter what color you have, you could have the blood, you could have the gravel, you could have sky like this, you know, and whether you're making it any of these textures, as you remember, you can change out the texture, but the best part is, like, if you selected something like this, for example, okay, and we wanted, like, a really cool tint, maybe we don't want black, it's no problem. You would go to horns, you would click this button right here, then, just like the others, you would select whatever color you'd like. And what it does is it tints it. Now, it might be hard to see in the video, but you can get some really, really cool um, options out of that. So it has some really, really nice possibilities. Um, let's try it like this. There we go. See? I know that doesn't exactly look too good. <laughs> uh, let's try this. A little bit darker. You really, you gotta play with it fully articulating head movement. But this time around I added four brand new buttons. So you can look up. You can literally look all the way around now as opposed to before. And then you can center, I don't know if you can see, but you can center right there. If you click the look button, it'll center that for you. And this works with quad mode as well. Now what I'm really excited about is the brand new rigged living wings. Now these wings are amazing. I absolutely love them. And I did these specifically because this is how I wanted them to be. I went back to the drawing board. I started them from the ground up to create the most realistic, amazing wings for the Dragon Guardian Avatar. I'm also considering making these wings for uh, humans, furries, things like that. So let me show you. As you can see, even the way they open up, they don't hide and show, there's no hide show prims. They got this beautiful unfolding movement to them. And when you flap, you get that beautiful unseparated movement. If we were to fly, you can see how you get that really realistic movement out of it. Now, what's incredible about these wings is that no matter where you go, I mean, I've literally tested these in Sims of 60 people, 60 different people, and because these are not scripted movement whatsoever, we get some really, really nice options, okay? When I fly around like this, 
they'll smoothly move, right? But also when you fly down, they basically, they dive, okay? Now because they're not scripted movement, it doesn't matter how many people are in the sim, it will not affect your performance at all. These are completely independently moving wings and I can't be more excited to share them with you. Okay, no more deformers. Before you used to, when you would go here and you would click the cog, you would do load and you would select quadruped fly and they would send you a quad mod kit. There's no more quad mod kit. All right, pretty amazing. It means you can swap from quad to biped at any time. Now I'm gonna do this in real time for you so you can see what I mean. You would click quadruped fly. Now, again, your legs don't look right. The hands are brand new. It's a lot more accurately visible. And all you would do is just wear the quadruped shape. That's all. That's all you have to do. You see that? Wear the shape. Let's do biped, load, and go right back to biped. Just wait for a second for it to load. And there you are. That's it. No, no fancy stuff, nothing. You wear the shape, you swap over the AO, you're done. Now what I have to mention is that most of the hard work was put into the animations. Each of the animations are completely custom, made by me. I was even twitching for a while, um, like streaming on Twitch, and uh, showing how I created them. Um, so a lot of work has been put into the animations with this update. Bipedal, as well as quadrupedal animations. So two-legged and four-legged. Now, honestly, I'd have to say the biggest part of this update is the four-legged movement because there was a lot of people, you know, obviously, like I said, they were only made in like, you know, basically like a week, the first animations, and it's not like that anymore. This update had a lot to do with it being a real dragon, and I can't emphasize this enough. It's a real dragon! Ah! Because a lot of people were asking, oh, you know, is it just an anthro? Absolutely not. Believe it or not, it is actually a real dragon. It has the possibility of, you know, getting in biped form, but primarily it was meant to be a real dragon. Now, that's why so much work has been put into this update. There are brand new animations specifically for the quad movement. You see there's a yes, no. And again, these are all custom specifically for the quadruped. There's like a beckoning, go, scratch. different stands to choose from, to choose for your personal dragon's personality. Simply by going to the cog and clicking next stand, see how it goes to two, then three, then four. So you have 
four stands to choose from. And you can pick what suits you best. What is the render count? What is it? Normally, an avatar this big, it's a really high render count. Well, let me tell you people, ladies and gentlemen, it is not. I took this picture specifically to show this. You see that? Now that's my buddy there. And he's wearing nothing but some mesh hair and basically like sculpted shoes. That's it, he's not wearing anything else. And he's at about that. I've already tested with many other people, and you can see the dragon is lower than them basically wearing nothing. So it's a very low render count. You don't have to worry about scripts. Um, very low script count. Uh, res time. So I'm very, very proud of it. This is this has honestly been modded for a version 1.2. The biggest and most exciting update of version 1.2 is the three different versions of mounts okay now each one of these unlike the other one they were they were separated they had flying ones and they had on the ground ones what's wonderful about these brand new mount options is that they have both that's right you heard me they have both you can be on the ground and then instantly take off into the air so it's very very exciting there's a mount where you can be on two legs, another where you're on four, and there's another where you're on two legs but you're carrying two people <laughs> dangling from both your hands and one on your back. So, very cool. The mounts take three people, not originally the two. I actually worked it out where it takes three passengers. You have one main driver and then another two. So let me just get some friends to help demonstrate these features. Okay, so I have three friends here now, and they're going to help demonstrate the three mount options. Biped, quadruped, and the carry. doing the quadruped that way I can basically just show how the system works because they're all the same functionality so what I'm gonna ask them to do is all they have to do there's no more right clicking and sitting all they have to do is click on my saddle or around my chest area so I'm gonna ask them to do that now there's one there's two, there's two, and there's three. Perfect. As you can see, it takes three different passengers. One main rider and two separate passengers. Okay, now. I really wanted the mounts to move very, very comfortably. If you move to the right, or to the left, or forward, it feels very, very natural. And the passengers actually follow the animations see that? And what's really cool is you can walk or you can run. Take off. Now this is the best part. By simply holding down the E key, you transform from ground mode into flight mode. And just take off into the air. You see that? And the passengers go with me. And as you can see, the camera's lined up really, really cleanly. So I can fly around, no issues whatsoever. Feels kind of like a video game. <laughs> and that's kind of like what I was going for. So it has really smooth, clean movement. Now. You get even more options if you go and you click, whether the saddle or somewhere on the chest. 
There's a jester that I added in there as a bonus. I'm not going to go through that. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, but primarily, you can adjust. You can adjust each of the passengers, as well as set who is going to be the driver. So now, what I'd like to do is demonstrate how there can be different drivers. So right now, I'm going to select driver, and for example, I'm going to select rider one. So in this case, that'll be our wonderful knight right there. And then Chris, see how it says Chris has the reins. Go ahead, Chris. See, now I'm not controlling the dragon now. Pretty cool, huh? So you're, you're going to hop on your best friend and take off and go into battle. Very cool. Thank you, Chris. Now, as I mentioned before, really the most biggest part of this update is this ability. It's really the coolest. I can fly right to the ground and it'll transfer right back into ground mode. You see that? Nice soft landing and we're landed. I can walk around. I can sit. Very, very cool. I worked very hard on this because I wanted it to have a very, you know, close relationship of a dragon and its rider and I'm very pleased to share it with you. You can actually toggle flight mode as well. So if I'm on the ground and I don't want to accidentally be flying, you can actually select uh, toggle fly and it'll basically, you know, turn it off. Um, you can also, while you're in flight, basically drop straight to the ground by hitting the up and down keys. In this case, it's W, S, A, D to move around, okay? But up and down is E and C. So you would hit E and C. And there you go. Drop straight to the ground. See that? Now I have to say the best part is that because this is not just a moving scripted object, you are the avatar. You can, you know, you can bite, you can shoot fire, you can cheer, you can eat, wings, all these really, really cool things. So there you have it. <laughs> the Dragon Guardia 1.2 update. As I said before, I've been working on it for many months. There's been a lot of work put into this, and I am just very, very excited to share it with you absolutely free. If you haven't bought the Dragon, or you've been thinking about buying it, hopefully this has helped. It's been, you know, more informative, and it has helped you make a decision whether you want to get it or not. As you can see, it's a fully functional dragon, has all the capabilities that a real dragon should have. I want to thank my friends here for helping me out with the video, as well as all of you for all of your amazing support. I am definitely going to be doing more of these videos because it seems like you guys really like them. Alright, I am Spider Carnot, owner-creator of Spider Productions, and I will see you next time.